Good morning and welcome into my channel. I've just got a couple of wee makes to make to show you this morning. River. Right. To show you, to show you first. Yes. Remember I get these off a, a magazine. The magazine was... They could... Oh, it was this one. Simply cards and paper crafts. And we got loads of wee things with it. And we got this magazine, remember, and it gave us stamps and the dies, eh, stamps and stencils. So we got the birds and we got the thing in, the flower and a couple of stands, stencils and things. Anyway, I used them this morning and I made some ATC cards. So that's the first one there. That was using the lily, the wee flower the lily, and some of the background stamps. My huckleberry friend. There you go, the make art. And I've put some the like the herringbone in the background and some of the wee dots. And just inked in the middle for that one. So that's number one. This is number two. Now spot the mistake in number two. If you can. I over stamped it because I didn't think I got a good impression in the bottom. I don't know if you can see there. You can see how it's quite faded in the bottom. And it's got like, scribbles in it. But you can't really see what it says. Well, I kind of mistook that for a bad stamped image. That's what it looked like, and I know it's supposed to go faded out, but it looked like a, a bad stamped image, so rather than waste it, I've stamped over it, just thicken it out a wee bit, and it's got some of the words in it. It's got fierce, worthy, and brave, which is three of the stamps, they're tiny. See, I stuck them on my wee piece of washi tape because they were getting lost. And I used the star, and I done the star with some white egg. Stone! Did my head in. Okay, so that was number two. And number three is my favourite. You see that? And that was using this stamp set. And I've used uh, the stencil in the background there, which is the flower one. That one. That was a stencil that came with it. Uh, and I used the kind of half circle shape there, put it on the top and just done a half circle with the flowers with the purple ink in the background, and the wee bird in the top and the shiny pens as you can see there, they are Sakura, they're Sakura mar uh, metallics. So that's three wee things that I've made from the freebies from a magazine. And every month, I, I don't buy magazines every month. Some months they're really good, and other months I just don't like the gifts that's in them. So, and it just depends. If I've not been well, my family will buy me them as well. So, to do these ATC coins, this is the distress inks here that I use. And remember, I use my wee foam circles in the bottom, and that's the way I keep them. And the black ink is a stays on. Because obviously one's water based and if you're going to do any water techniques in the back, you don't want your black to run. So that just stays on for that. So there's three. All I need to do now is find a wee home for them. Now, remember these wee dudes? Excuse me to stand up and see if I can find it. Here it's here. Off to shoulder over my shoe. Right, the wee mouse trap and the daybuck. They're quite fierce actually. They are quite fierce. And I was just kind of fear to get my fingers in it. Let me see if I can get it done with that. See what I mean? Anyway, I took the mechanism off of this one. So you can see here it's just the back. 
It's just the wood on the back. I took the mechanism completely off of that one. I have put some love. Oh, big tone. And a gem and some of the sprays of beads. I love word. Three, it says, I love you, key. Big tone. And some lace and that there is a half of a heart doily back there's the other half there okay and i've put one of these we we bulldog clip on the top a couple of wee gems but this one here i've left the mechanism on it although i've took off the dangerous bit so that it can't snap your fingers stone But in here, I've put a wee tiny notebook. I made a wee notebook. Big job. See that? Come on now, focus properly. There you are. And I put the wee love letter. The love is a Tim Holtz ideology stamp and one of the wee hearts to match the hearts in there. This paper pad that's in the background of this one and this one is actually the nautical paper pad from the range last year. See that? That's a bit of it. And that was the paper pad that I used for this. And I actually, and that was some of the cogs. Remember I cut cogs for a male birthday card but I didn't use them. So I've used them in there. I've put a couple of sprays of flowers on and some hearts and a big silver spray in the background. And I think actually I'll put another one of the wee bulldog clips on. Don't know what that was. And I've got a pink one here, but if it's no suitable colour it, that's not bad. Okay, so you can hang it up with that. I bought these. I got these in the pound shop the other day. See that? It's just um, scatter or sequins. They call it confetti. So I got it in the red and I got it in the white. And I'm going to do some shaker cards for them. I actually bought this die and look at them, look at that, that's napkins. You see them? A pound, pound shop. Lovely big heart napkins. And I've got heart balloons. Although they are a bit dodgy looking, they balloons, I have to say. Can you see that? Anyway, I got them. And I bought a notepad thing for papers, I'm needing some papers. Some sticky notes. It won't take long. Goes like this. Some stamp sets that I got. Let me move these things out of the way so as you can get a clear view through. This is a Happy Mail stamp set, as you can see here. Let me see if we're focusing properly. There, yeah, that's better. Happy Mail, and it says Shop stat Statistics, sorry. Views, favourites, sales, revenue, and then you've got all your social media things. Thank you for supporting a small business. Proudly made in the USA. I know we're not in the USA, but I'll maybe gift that to somebody. Thank you, Paid Fragile, and then it's just like an order thing. And I got it because it says Happy Mail is the best kind of mail. Happy mail inside, happy mail, and do you love it? Please leave us a nice review. I quite like that. And this stamp set here kind of tugged at my heartstrings a wee bit. I'm going to turn that over and hopefully you'll see it. It says, I've been thinking of you and wondering how you are. Don't lose hope because when the sun goes down, the stars come out. Only in the darkness can you see the stars. And that's a Martin Luther King quote. I believe that friends are quiet angels who lift us up to our feet when our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. Lorraine K. Mitchell Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, 
an honest compliment or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. And that's very, very true. And there's the stars. I've, I've got a wee project in mind for these stars. It's more of a winter project, though, I have to say. And may the memories of your loved one bring you comfort during this time of sorrow. I know they're very difficult cards to make, but we still have to do them, unfortunately. It's just part of life. Kind words can mean so much, yours will not be forgotten. One smile can lift a spirit and change a life. Yeah, definitely. Just the same as a cruel word can cut somebody to the core. You've really got to try and use them. Anyway. That's the master that's coming out here, I suppose. Let me see, because I showed you some magazines last week that I bought. And I've got these ones here. Put these wee chaps out of it. Creative stamping. This is the one, if I'm only buying one magazine, I tend to buy creative stamping. They always seem to have good, and they've always got cracking stamp sets in them. I mean, look at that one. That's your stamp set, and it's an acid drops and whatnots, and their scenes are just brilliant, I love them. How does a £2 box of chocolate end up as £10 in the hips? It's definitely, aye. <laughs> You can't leave footprints in the sands of time while sitting down. Very true. And then it's just got somebody in their bath and the measuring tape and a carrot and, you know, things like that. The wee dog on the resources dog on the... Shows you how often I use it. The running machine. So that was quite a good... <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a rough throat today. And as ever, they give you wee examples of what to do on the inside, what you can make with the cards. Shabby chic, shabby chic's quite kind of in again this year. Look, there you are. And I pull the sheets out and I put them with the stamps. I just open the stamp pack and put them in with it. But there's some good ideas there. And that one is... Seven ninety nine UK price. There's that Brexit stuff in the news. Would this not just depress you? It would depress the life out you. Anyway, let's not go down that road. This is a happy crafty channel. This one is the Paper Craft Essentials. Sorry for the rustling. Six ninety nine UK price. Fresh ideas to craft tonight, it says, and it gives you loads of ideas and and things. And Oh, there's, what's this one? Simply cards and paper craft this month are all wee birds. All the garden birds. So, yeah, it's got all sorts of... That lady there, that's a lady. No, it's not. I thought that was that Helen Griffith. She does a lot of articles for these magazines. She's in quite a few of them. And she does quite a load of... She, oh, that's a lovely set. What one is that set? Let me see. Kaiser Craft Deep Sea Collection. That's lovely. I'll give you a wee closer look at that set. Can you see that? Let me see if it's focusing properly. Oh, I don't know if it is or no. Anyway, it's a... Oh, they are. There's a better look there. Look. See some of the things that's in it. It's a beautiful colour palette. And it's got wooden embellishments that will go along with it as well. I like that. Beautiful colours. So, and the freebie with that was Hunky Dory. Now, I like Hunky Dory. I must have about 10 of these kits. And I don't use them. I used to give them to my mother and I used to use them at the craft club. You know, I would just put them on the table and let the people help themselves, but they're handy. You maybe need a card one day, and that's, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. And this is another one. My poor hands are killing me. It's really, it's getting quite cold here. There was a sharp frost this morning, and we're saying maybe snow. I reckon the end of January we're going to get snow. We're going to get a blue turn, but we'll wait and see. This is a 30-piece stamp set, and it says Rare Earth. 
So I don't know that the full stamp set is a rare air stamp set. Often you find you've got a wee box and it's just the ones in the box, but there's no wee box on this and it all seems to be rare earth. So whether it is or not, I don't know. But you've got your wee creatures, your horse, your lambs, rabbits, springtime, then the flowers and then your scenes and your words. Fresh as a daisy, thinking of you. Oh, we've got another wee extra in here. Oh, tattered lace paper collection. So it's got a wee tattered lace paper collection in it. Yeah. And usually when they do that, there's like extras you can go and download as well. So, and oh, look at that, I'm loving. Scotland's largest independent craft shop. Where's that? Oh, Aberdeen, the paper mill Aberdeen. There we hairy haggis, look. You see that? That's a wee hairy haggis. The healing coo, the unicorn, and that's a wee hairy haggis with his kilt on. And the coily. Here's a wee quick look. Flower fairies. I have got a load of flower fairy stuff. Crafter's Companion done it years ago. And I've got like Christmas fairy stamps and the whole sets of them. So I have, they went out They went out of fashion really quick. They come in and went out like that. Well, here you are, people. Love for your Valentine's next month. What's that? Is that of any interest? Right. Take our quiz and find out what sort of crafter you are. What time of day do you most likely to craft? Sometimes it's the middle of the night for me. Late at night. Choose a card fold that you love. I don't particularly love any. Here's more paper pack. Cutouts, unicorns and frogs. Kind of fairy tale, I suppose. Dragons and things. Of course, this is a theme that the schools will be doing at this time of the year. It's usually kind of make believe at this time of year because you're between Christmas and Easter because they don't really bother with Valentine's. Sometimes they do a thing for their mother or their father, whatever, but it's usually the next thing is Easter. So they usually do quite a big theme in these months here. Well, the bees are going to be popular again this year. Beautiful. Be inspired by the humble bumble. Complement your exclusive stamp set with our top buys. How does that complement the exclusive stamp set? It's only got one BB in it. A new nouveau golden flakes, and there's a wee kind of dye thing. Maybe bumblebees are cool, I might have a go at making something like that. Look, what's up, buttercup? Excuse my fingers, I mean, look at the state of that, come on. Getting into some mess. Written in the stars, so well, that's quite nice. Hunky Dory's collection of written in the stars. Let me see, I don't know if that's a new one or not. See that there? I don't know if that's going to be a new collection. I know they've done quite a few kind of starry and ethereal ones. So there you go. Here's a wee quick look at these things. I hope that kept you busy. Um, did I get something? Oh, I got, oh no, I showed you all the wee bits and pieces. Right, folks, that's it. Happy crafting, the sun is out now. Oh, I got this wee die. Sorry, I meant to show you this wee die. I actually meant to make it up and then bring it on and show you it, but I haven't had time. There's a woman called Nicole, 
and she designs a lot of dyes. She designs for Alina Cotto and she designs for... Is it Crafts You Love or KS Crafts? She sells a lot of designs to a lot of the AliExpress buyers. She's on YouTube if you fancy a wee look, go and have a wee look. And she shows you all her new dyes. This is, it turns, this is a wee box. And that sits on the front of the wee box like a frame. So it's like a shadow box. These bits here, they come out. Need to get them out. Very easy to come off. So that's your shadow box design at the back. And then that frame sits on the top of it. And that's like your front bit. And it's quite... The stitching on it is really good. It's quite deep. And then, of course, you have this wee frame that will sit on the top there and it will hide all your gubbins and things. Because that bit there, maybe cut that and it will fold back the way. And then you've got that wee fancy frame to go over the top. These wee things here that you've seen are reinforcers for the holes. See if you're going to use the holes for hanging it up or something like that. That's wee reinforcers for putting over the holes. Like such. And she's given you a wee tiny one. And a flower one as well. She's a good designer. And these also come in a bigger size as well. And the bigger size is almost the size of my hand. This one here is... Let's get to the bit. It's 9 centimetres by 7.5, the front plate. And the depth of the box is 5 uh, five mil, 10 mil, 10 mil. So it's not a bad size. I think that was 389 or something for the small one. And then there's a bigger one. I think it's about £5 something. But she's got loads and loads of different designs of frames. But what I was thinking was, if you've got, and I know you could do that yourself, just the same, I know. But I was thinking for my scanning cut, if I scanned that in, then I would be able to put a different frame round about it and keep the basic shape. And I know my friend in Ireland, Avro, the lovely Popsies Ribbon and Lace, she has a scanning cut as well. So it's an idea. It was just, it is just an idea at this minute. I don't know. I would need to think about it a wee bit more. But anyway, I got this. Oh, and there's all wee bits of fluff sticking to it. That must have been out of the shop. Because I was sitting with wee fluffy of hearts and things. Right, folks, you get these in the pound shop. You get them everywhere, but you get them in the pound shop. You get them in B&M's. I think they're 89 pence or something in B&M's. But see these moulds? These moulds are fantastic. See if you have the glittery glue sticks. And I hauled some the other week there. Wait, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And you can get the big ones for the big glue gun that they sell in Lidl's. But they do the small ones. I get them in the pound shop, actually. If you put these in your glue gun and melt them and drip it into this mould, I mean, maybe that would be one stick. You might get two or three out of that, I suppose. But it gives you glittery embellishments in the heart shape and it'll have the wee heart on it. Actually, now that I've got it all out, I'm going to go and do it for you and I'll come back and show you. Is that OK? Right, okie dokie, folks. Love you and leave you time. Have a happy day. Happy crafting. Enjoy the beautiful weather. And if you've got snow, oh, enjoy the snow. Okay, bye.